picture Apple's item range, platinum MacBooks, skinny iPhones, whatever the item, it's smooth, appealing, and immediately unmistakable as Apple. Most importantly, it looks wonderfully straightforward. Truth be told, on the off chance that you take a gander at Apple's item plan and retail locations, just as how the board draws in with its groups, you'll see that straightforwardness is at the core of Apple's activities. Why? Since they comprehend that straightforwardness is the most amazing asset for an advanced business. Customers incline toward it. Workers love it. Also, with it, the board can take an organization to amazing statures. Be that as it may, straightforwardness is hard. It takes work to distill an organization's image, to slice through layers of departmental multifaceted nature, or to smooth out an item range. Fortunately, this synopsis will give you the instruments you need to disentangle and will give you experiences from probably the keenest individuals in the business. Chapter 1 Effortlessness isn't tied in with being basic, it's tied in with giving the impression of being straightforward. We can't resist the urge to make things complex. The more we find, design, and develop as animal types, the more convoluted our lives become. From complex organizations to the infuriating guidelines that accompany machines, we confound things. The incongruity is that we love effortlessness. We lean toward simple to utilize items. We incline toward individuals who communicate unmistakably. We love organizations that have an unmistakable, straightforward brand. So for what reason do we overcomplicate things? Indeed, basically on the grounds, that straightforwardness is truly difficult to achieve. Take an Apple MacBook. It's a wonderfully straightforward piece of innovation, however, a great deal of intricacy went into it. Ask most MacBook proprietors to clarify the trend-setting innovation driving their PCs and they'd be confused. Or then again think about Ben and Jerry's frozen yogurt. Frozen yogurt unquestionably can't be that convoluted, correct? Indeed, what has all the earmarks of being a direct, delectable dessert, with large pieces of treat mixture, candy, and twirls, is the consequence of a mind-boggling measure. Truth be told, when the organization originally began, exemplary frozen yogurt apparatus could just deal with little fixings. In any case, to get their unmistakable frozen yogurt flavors, Ben Cohen and Jerry Greenfield developed an approach to add those enormous lumps and powerful whirls. At that point, to make things much more confounded, they needed to sort out some way to mass produce it, huge lumps whatnot. Effortlessness, at that point, isn't basic. However, organizations advantage by giving the impression of effortlessness, which is correctly what foolproof does. Secure is a quickly developing computerized plan office situated in the UK. They plan sites for significant tech firms, aircraft, banks, and media organizations. What's more, their capacity to make the client experience as basic as conceivable is the thing that separates them. To do this, they make progress toward what they call, stream, an idea credited to the Hungarian therapist Mihaly Csikszentmihalyi. In a condition of stream, the client moves flawlessly through a site and doesn't know about his activities since everything is so instinctive. This implies that things like booking flights, which can be baffling, become remarkably straightforward, lovely encounters. What's more, however, the website specialists at Foolproof have endeavored to accomplish this effortlessness, the client won't have the foggiest idea about a thing about it. Straightforwardness, at that point, it's something that looks simple outwardly, yet is amazingly precarious within. Chapter 2 All incredible organizations have a focal mission that unmistakably characterizes them. Anything you might need is only a single tick away. That is the thing that Amazon told the world when it brought web-based business to the majority. What's more, with that line, a single tick away, Amazon discovered its organizational mission. Not all organizations have an unmistakable mission. Request a gathering from individuals what they think Hewlett-Packard or Dell epitomize and you'll probably hear a hundred unique things. Incredible organizations stick out, partially, because they have basic, solid ways of thinking. Anyway, what precisely is an organization's mission, and how might you approach creating one? An organization's mission is straightforward, with incredible reasoning behind all that it does. By setting this out plainly, an organization can strip back anything unnecessary and get to the core of what it's the issue here. Barely any organization's missions are as basic and lucid as Apple's. At the point when Steve Jobs go.
T back to Apple in 1997, following an 11 year banish, the organization was falling into decrease. Inside a brief time frame, Jobs had brought the organization's magic back. How could he do this? Indeed, even before reclaiming control, he figured another organization mission in an introduction he gave close by then CEO Gil Emilio. On a slide behind him were the words, mission, give pertinent, convincing arrangements that clients can just get from Apple. What's more, that is Apple's main goal right up, till the present time. Without Jobs explaining vision, which gave the organization its focal reason, Apple would be simply one more PC maker. All things considered, it's a progressive buyer hardware organization respected over the world. Another significant defining moment for Apple came when the organization made the Apple Store. This was an open door for Apple to exhibit its central goal in a public space, from how its representatives acted to how its stores looked. The man enlisted to build up the Apple Store, Ron Johnson, based on Jobs' focal mission. He made a particular mantra for the retail locations, enrich lives. Similarly, as Apple's motivation was to plan items that focused on clients' necessities, Apple Store's motivation was to advance the lives of every individual who came in. That is the reason clients could anticipate energetic assistance available, and skilled workers have consistently prospered at the Genius Bar help work areas. That is the intensity of an all-around characterized and basic organization mission. Chapter 3 Solid Organization Culture Brings Together and Rearrange Envision you're being interviewed for a new position. Your potential manager shows you around the premises. She motions toward a divider show where you see photos of workers at different fun and ridiculous group building occasions. She giggles and says, that is exactly how we get things done around here. What she's getting at is the organization's way of life. It's what causes a business to feel how it does. Furthermore, it goes farther than simply group building works out, it characterizes everything, from how representatives treat each other to how messages are composed. Solid organizational culture is a significant segment of any fruitful business. In the beginning, organizational culture rapidly tells workers how things are at the organization. Take Whole Foods, the American global well-being evolved way of life. Their way of life imparts a genuine feeling of direction in their workers. Furthermore, that reason for existing is to commend the advantages of entire nourishments, with a lowercase w, as solid for people, networks, and the earth. Individuals who work at Whole Foods will in general be energetic about this reason, and it focuses on. Then again, a solid culture can tell workers that they're not an ideal choice for an organization. For example, in 2012, Apple employed John Browett as its new senior VP of retail. He was a previous CEO of Dixon's, the British retail chain. Browett didn't, get, Apple's entire ethos from the beginning. Instead of, improving lives, Browett hoped to augment momentary benefits, he terminated staff, cut hours, and diminished advancements. He essentially didn't click with the organization's culture. He was out the entryway inside nine months. Just as setting the norm for representatives, an organization's way of life can likewise bind together a different labor force. The way of life at Electronic Arts, the huge US-based computer game originator, has done precisely that. The organization expected to join bunches that didn't normally incline toward one another, similar to video game specialists and coders. Electronic Arts' answer has been to cultivate a culture where everybody feels a piece of a similar group, advancing toward similar objectives. A solid culture, at that point, can be an extraordinary streamlining apparatus. It builds up a reasonable, steady arrangement of standards while bringing together an organization under one flag. Chapter 4 An organization's CEO is urgent to accomplishing effortlessness. Consider Steve Jobs in his unique clothing dark turtleneck, Levi's, and New Balance shoes. Something similarly as trademark about Jobs was his involved initiative. He was continually walking around Apple's central command, monitoring various divisions and giving his criticism. Note that he wasn't micromanaging. Indeed, he was certainly anxious to share his thoughts, however, he was in every case eagerly influenced by another person's enthusiastic sentiment. By getting into the low down, he had the option to start a discussion and drive groups further while hearing thoughts straightforwardly from the specialists on the ground. 
Indeed, Jobs' image of the initiative was vital to how Apple worked, and to its improvement. Steve Jobs' methodology empowered Apple to remove layers of the organization when it came to dynamics. As opposed to a thought moving upward through various degrees of endorsement, Jobs would simply drop in on the source office. This gave him an open door for an open coordinated effort. He could either affirm the thought, challenge staff to convey better against the organization's central goal, or hear staff individuals out. He would be keen on the smallest detail, from the bends of another PC to the specific feel of a catch. This involved, casual initiative style implied that the organization's vision didn't get watered down. In reality, it was simpler for Apple to keep up its flawlessly straightforward mission because Steve Jobs was near the entirety of the activity. Kip Tyndall, fellow benefactor and previous CEO of the Container Store, is another supporter of this sort of administration. From the beginning, he assembled the Container Store, an American retailer that has practical experience away items, such that an organized open coordinated effort. He has supported casual, sincere discourse among all territories of the organization, instead of an exceptionally controlled dynamic cycle. Given this transparency, representatives at the container store realize that their musings are esteemed. Tyndall has fabricated an air where individuals feel good communicating and offering groundbreaking plans to him. Also, prepare to have your mind blown. By removing the unlimited layers of endorsement while permitting individuals to express their genuine thoughts to the CEO, the business has had the option to profit by being successful and creative. Chapter 5 Employing the correct group as the way into a solid and rearranged organization. As we've taken in, a fruitful organization should be joined around a reasonable and brief organization mission. For that to occur, everybody should be singing from a similar song sheet, that is, everybody needs to find a place with the organization's outlook. That is the reason employing the correct group is so significant to a fruitful organization. It may come as an astonishment, yet the best organizations regularly utilize flighty techniques for selecting. That is because the attempted and tried CV filtering measure doesn't generally work. Take the case of StubHub, the American ticket trade, and resale organization. In the first place, it had a genuinely conventional recruiting measure. First was a separating stage, after which selection representatives would elude the main three contenders to StubHub's fellow benefactor Jeff Fleur. From that point, he would pick his top choice. Today, Fleur accepts that as unequivocally some unacceptable methodology. He's not just searching for an ideal CV with all the correct insight. All things considered, he's searching for somebody who shows interest, imagination, and a hardworking attitude while additionally being a decent, social fit. These are characteristics that can't be found exclusively by filtering CVs. That is the reason business visionaries like Jeff Fleur adopt a more all-encompassing strategy, evaluating each new applicant in general individual. Kip Tyndall, referenced in the last part, additionally trusts in an alternate method of employing. Like Jeff Fleur, he doesn't put all the accentuation on a decent CV. Truth be told, he accepts that two key credits probably won't be found in a CV by any means. These are judgment and honesty, which he esteems more than conventional characteristics, similar to knowledge and specialized capacity. Along these lines, to guarantee it gets the correct individuals for the work, the container store interviews up-and-comers relentlessly. Regularly, up-and-comers should go through seven or eight meetings. Another eccentric recruiting strategy at the container store is to go to exist representatives for help with enlistment. As opposed to experiencing a conventional HR division, the organization approaches workers to pay special mind to reasonable recruits. Along these lines, if staff individuals have keen, energetic companions, meet somebody fascinating on a night out or even have a removed relative who's a solid match, they're urged to elude those individuals to the container store. Anyway, the cycle is done, what makes a difference most is getting the perfect individuals ready. Chapter 6 A Solid, Rational Brand is Critical to Fruitful Straightforwardness. We intuitively comprehend what an organization's image is. It's the entirety of what we feel about that organization. This is made by the item or administration the organization sells, its advertising efforts, and what individuals we trust to enlighten us concerning the organization. A solid brand is the most important item an organization can have. 
It prevails upon new clients, making them brand followers. We, as a whole have our number one brands, regardless of whether that is Apple, Nike, or Cartier. Also, what joins these driving organizations are the effortlessness of their brands, we, get, them rapidly. We understand a big motivator for them. The vital message here is, a solid, sound brand is vital to fruitful straightforwardness. Focusing on straightforward, conspicuous brand character, at that point, is significant for progress. Steve Jobs comprehended this just as anybody. He was particularly against muddling or watering down Apple's image character. For example, when pundits proposed that Apple's cutting-edge telephone business would deteriorate without a minimal effort choice, Jobs laughed at the thought. He considered Apple to be a very good quality brand that spoke to the individuals who accepted that excellent, creative items merited the cost. He wasn't eager to weaken the brand by offering a modest telephone. Another illustration of an amazing, basic brand is Kofola, the Czech carbonated beverage organization. An opponent to Coca-Cola and Pepsi with establishes in the communist time, Kofola attempted to rival these Western brands when the nation's administration fell in 1989. However, at that point its new proprietor, Costa Samaras, chosen to rebrand the Kofola drink altogether around the possibility of sentimentality, to be specific, a wistfulness for bygone times, gone through drinking Kofola with the family behind the Iron Curtain. This straightforward, flawless rebranding implied a freshly discovered accomplishment for the soda. Another piece of keeping up an unmistakable brand is ensuring that it shows up similar to any place the organization has a presence. In this way, as opposed to adjusting to engage neighborhood tastes and inclinations, a solid brand ought to seem reliable around the world. Take the extraordinary car organizations, for instance. It doesn't make a difference if it's in Tokyo, Paris, or London, a Ferrari is a similar extravagance vehicle all over. This rationale can be stretched out to a wide range of items and administrations. There's a predictable string going through all incredible organizations. All have a basic, convincing brand that sparkles hard and splendid as a jewel. Also, from this effortlessness follows overall acknowledgement, and with this acknowledgement, a remarkable development. Chapter 7 Straightforwardness can prompt genuine love and reverence for an organization. At the point when Steve Jobs was alive, he discussed making innovation that individuals can begin to look all starry-eyed at. He needed to fabricate a passionate connection with Apple clients. To do this, he realized he would have to put straightforwardness up front. All things considered, we're pulled into effortlessness over unpredictability, which is the reason straightforwardness can assist clients with coming to adore a specific brand. The organization that offers simplicity and comfort will pick up allies. These allies will at that point become given to the brand. Simply take a gander at how faithful Apple clients are. They'll buy one Apple PC after another, and think that it's extremely difficult to end that propensity. Uber is an incredible illustration of an organization that has accomplished savage client connections. By giving a straightforward, advantageous option in contrast to taxis in more than 300 urban communities, it has immediately picked up a worldwide fanbase. Obviously, with each effective business come contenders professing to offer less expensive, more productive other options. Uber's convenience, nonetheless, just as its drivers connected positive encounters, implies that most clients stay unwavering. Uber has made brand dependability. Indeed, even organizations that are probably not going to rouse, love, can develop their associations with their clients. This stretches out to organizations like TV suppliers and banks that gracefully genuinely unglamorous administrations. Take those TV suppliers. DirecTV Latin America, as the name recommends, gives TV content in Latin America. Chief Bruce Churchill recognizes that his industry is probably not going to motivate love. All things considered, numerous individuals don't generally adore their link supplier. All things being equal, he intends to help the number of clients who talk emphatically about the organization, also called, net advertisers. Their inverse, net doubters, are the individuals who criticize the organization. By giving straightforward, compelling help, this CEO is wagering on a greater number of preferences than detests. The Bank of Melbourne is in a comparable position, it's difficult to, love, a bank. 
However, CEO Scott Turner accepts there are approaches to construct important associations with clients, such as offering help when beginning a business, which creates a sort of enthusiastic connection. All things considered, a bank can show you the way to putting something aside for a house or an upbeat retirement. For what reason can't a bank, at that point, motivate something somewhat like, well, love? Chapter 8 Numerous Extraordinary Business Pioneers Use Instinct. Here and there, you simply know. Whatever others may state, you realize that something will work or bomb hard. That is the intensity of instinct. You may feel that tuning into your intuition in the business world is an ill-conceived notion, particularly when all that there have all the earmarks of being founded on estimations. Be that as it may, you'd not be right. Extraordinary business pioneers, from Steve Jobs to Rupert Murdoch, have frequently gone with their instinct. Tuning into your heart in business is significant. For instance, if Rupert Murdoch had tuned into what monetary examiners had let him know, he wouldn't have tied down the rights to NFL communicates for Fox Sports. At that point, Fox had never communicated live games. They had consented to pay what was viewed as a gigantic amount of cash for the rights, $1.6 billion for a four-year bargain. Numerous individuals in the account and the media called Murdoch insane, revealing to him he'd never brought in that cash back. Yet, Murdoch overlooked them and followed his hunch. The rest is history, Fox Sports NFL inclusion has been a victory. That $1.6 billion resembles a take today. In any case, going with your instinct as an organization chief doesn't mean overlooking information and hard realities. It just methods having the option to fill in the holes between that information. Take StubHub Prime supporter Jeff Fleur, whom we've just met. He's worked in electronic organizations since he turned into a business visionary. He has a site guest examination that permits him to consider information finally, and to perceive how clients react to various advertising systems. But instead of depending totally on the investigation, he checks in with his instinct. Indeed, he tries out his hunches in his advertising techniques and afterward takes a gander at the information to perceive how purchasers have reacted to his changes and changes. If you don't have a Steve Jobs-like sense for business, at that point strong monetary investigation and measurements can be incredible apparatuses for improving your arrangement. Be that as it may, to shape world-changing business ideas, you'll need to utilize your instinct, your most profound hunch about whether a groundbreaking thought or item can work. It's a vital factor in streamlining, your first nature about a revolutionary new item thought can be worth more than reams of monetary investigation. As Apple's Ron Johnson says, if you need to separate or move to the future, you need to depend on your instinct. Think simple, How Smart Leaders Defeat Complexity by Ken Siegel Book Review Individuals Intuitively Favor Effortlessness Over Unpredictability. Genuine straightforwardness, nonetheless, takes work. An organization's initiative can help drive straightforwardness by receiving an active, natural methodology. Additionally, a solid brand brings together and rearrange a business, regardless of how unique its parts appear. At long last, effortlessness can move love and reliability toward an organization. Streamline by removing day in and day out news when you're dealing with something. Do you look through the news each time you awaken, at that point get yourself restless and discouraged at the condition of the world? All things considered, stop. You can't buy and by taking care of the multitude of world's issues, and you'd be considerably more valuable to yourself as well as other people by zeroing in on the thing you're acceptable at.